What's up guys, it's Combat here at Infinite Rhythm Productions and today I'm going to show you how to properly grid your beat in Pro Tools so that way you could do all your cool beat effects, beat drops, uh, whatever it is that you need and make it so easy, so simple. All right, so this is after you already find your tempo. Uh, you could use either tap tempo or whatever. You guys could watch my last tutorial. I pretty much showed that. Um, we're going to zoom in all the way to the beginning and you guys see this red, I would call it like a little diamond, a Roombus or something like that. Um, this is our little diamond. This is pretty much where the beat tempo is going to start. So you guys could either bring it to the first beat drop to where it's a little easier to see. I like to kind of, you know, challenge myself a little. I might bring it up to the front somewhere and just kind of go back and forth to make sure it's right. Um, like I said, I already found tempo. It's at 90. So I'm just going to now bring this in right here. And sometimes I just like to zoom in just to get as accurate as I can. Um, let's see, we got right here. Um, if you can't really see that beginning part, you're like, oh, that's too small, I can't really see it. Go all the way to the left side, I'm gonna put you on some game right here, and just click this little arrow. Boom, you guys see that? Fucking awesome. All right, but I can see that a lot better, so I'm gonna bring that back here. Now I'm gonna zoom out, and we'll take this down back. Okay, cool. And now let's play it. Perfect. And all I'm going to do to make sure it aligns to grid is either I could go here to the left and hit grid, automatically going to grid it, or I could hit the little squiggly on the top left of the keyboard right below the escape key. And you could just maneuver. You guys see this right here? You guys could just maneuver around all four like that. Very easy. But I'm going to have it on grid, and I just use it on the blue grid one. Cool. So now, anywhere I go in the beat, it should be aligned. I can put it here, here, here. It's all aligned. If you guys are like, oh, it's a little too, you know, in on it or whatever, I could just go here, move it back just a tad bit, zoom out, and then try it again. So, um, <clears throat> So this just makes it really easy for all these like beat drops like you guys see right here. I have one. I'm going to play it out. So instead of that, I could do a beat drop. You feel me? So it just makes all that shit so much easier. If I want to uh, add another beat to this right here, I want I want it to sound like this. Look how fast I did it because it was gridded. So I really feel like gridding on Pro Tools is the way. So uh, yeah, this pretty much concludes the tutorial of how to grid your beat in Pro Tools. Let's get it.